As an admirer of the Maine Coon breed, you may decide to enter the cat breeding world as a hobbyist or even as a professional. There are a few things you should be thinking about before you take that step. In this video, we will tell you 7 things to know about the Maine Coon cat mating process. Number 7. What age can I breed my Maine Coon? Female Maine Coons should be at least 18 months old before breeding, but ideally, you should wait until they are fully grown or else their growth can be stunted. Male Maine Coons should be at least 18 to 24 months old before breeding. Make sure to have your cats checked over by a vet first to determine if they are both healthy enough to breed. There are many Maine Coon breeders out there, but before you decide to become a breeder yourself, you should know that it's not as easy to make money fast. Breeders incur a lot of costs, and it's a very time-consuming and mentally straining process. With all that being said, there are still plenty of reasons why you might want to breed cats. Cat fanciers love to bring new life into the world, and it can be rewarding to pair a queen and a stud to make beautiful Maine Coon kittens. The Maine Coon mating age is usually around 5 or 6 months old. This is when a cat reaches sexual maturity and is ready to start finding a mate. However, please note that it isn't actually a good idea to start breeding cats when they're this young. A female Maine Coon that becomes pregnant before she is fully grown can experience stunted growth and might be at more risk for a dangerous pregnancy. Meanwhile, the maximum cat breeding age is about 7 years old. Older cats are also at risk for having dangerous pregnancies and birth, and it puts both the queen and her kittens at risk. Number 6. How many kittens can a Maine Coon have? The average Maine Coon litter size is about 4 to 5 kittens, and they rarely have litters of more than 6. However, in rare cases, they can give birth to as many as 12 kittens at once. So, how many kittens can a Maine Coon have in a year? It's often considered best to breed a queen twice a year so that she can produce, on average, 8 to 12 kittens each year. Here are the key reasons that will impact how many kittens your Maine Coon cat will have. Age Age is a key factor in determining litter size. Young queens are likely to have a smaller litter between 1 and 3 kittens. Aging queens are also more likely to produce smaller litters. When a queen is at her prime breeding age, she is likely to produce large litters. Genetics Unfortunately, there's no way to know for sure whether your breeding queen has the optimal genetics for producing larger litters. However, it's believed that genetics does play a big part, and some cats are simply more or less likely to produce large litters. Breeding Frequency Queens that are bred more frequently, such as once or twice a year, are more likely to have larger litters. Infrequent breeding can affect how hospitable the cat's uterus is to new litters and can decrease the number of kittens she has. Health The health of a queen is important for determining litter size. Healthier queens that are on a good diet are more likely to produce larger litters, while malnourished or unhealthy queens are likely to have smaller litters. Number 5. It's expensive. Breeders incur a lot of costs before they can make a profit. If you only keep queens, you'll have to pay a stud fee, not to mention the initial cost of any cats you own. You'll also have to pay all of the medical expenses, including vaccinations, deworming, and vet checkups. You'll also have to pay for food and any other supplies. Maine Coons are susceptible to a variety of genetic health conditions, such as kidney disease and spinal muscular atrophy. You need to pay about $50 per test per cat to make sure that your breeding cats can't pass any of these conditions onto their young. If you don't want to keep your own stud cats, you'll have to rent a high-quality stud cat to breed with your female. This can range anywhere from $100 to over $1,000. However, some stud owners prefer an exchange instead and will allow you to breed their stud in exchange for one kitten of their choice. Number 4. It's Time Consuming Breeding cats is a full-time job. Unlike many jobs, you can't simply clock out when a queen is pregnant or nursing. Young kittens need to be checked on every few hours, which means you aren't even guaranteed a good night's sleep. Older kittens are rowdy and require litter training, which can be exhausting and frustrating at times. The mating process can take several days. A female Maine Coon's heat cycle begins at maturity and doesn't stop until she's bred. They are polyesterous, 
therefore they come into heat several times a year. Indoor cats affected by artificial lighting go through heat cycles throughout the year. Number 3. Mating Process The male is placed in the same room as the female Maine Coon, and they are allowed to become familiar. If the queen has progressed from proestrus to estrus, she will likely let the male touch her. The mating itself will barely take half a minute. You must be sure to provide some route of escape for the male cat after mating, since the female is likely to react aggressively. It's a normal part of the process. The Maine Coon female can be mated up to three times in a day for the first three days of estrus. This gives you a higher chance of your Maine Coon becoming pregnant. It's common for a litter to have multiple fathers, and some breeders prefer to have more than one stud breeding the female to ensure fertility. Cats are reflex ovulators, which means they only ovulate once they're bred. If your female Maine Coon fails to become pregnant, then she will start a new heat cycle after about a week. If she miscarries, her body will rest for about two months before resuming the estrus cycle again. Once your cat is pregnant, you have 63 to 70 days of gestation to watch over. Your Maine Coon will require the best diet during this period, with a kitten formula mixed in. Avoid supplements since a good diet takes care of any deficiency in this period. One week before the due date, it's best to isolate your pregnant cat from the rest of the animals and give her a safe, clean, and comfortable place to give birth to her litter. Once the kittens are born, they should be kept in their mother's care with very little human interference for the first few months of their lives. Ideally, the female cat should not be bred more than twice a year, while the stud should be given a few weeks rest in between mating. If the litter is particularly big, her reproductive rest should be even longer. Number 2. How to tell if my Maine Coon is in heat Maine Coons aren't subtle about when they're in heat, but owners might not recognize the signs at first. Here are the most common signs that indicate your cat is in heat. Begging to go outside Many cats in heat scratch at the door and yowl to go outside so that they can meet up with potential mates. Spreading scent Your cat might rub her face against furniture, other objects, or even you. Unfortunately, in some cases, your cat might start spraying urine as well. Begging for attention Cats in heat often become more attention-seeking and try to cuddle up against you a lot. This is most apparent in cats that aren't typically cuddly, but you might notice that your usually cuddly cat wants even more attention than usual. Excessive Vocalization A cat in heat is more likely to vocalize and might cry yowl or meow loudly. Assuming Mating Position A cat in heat might get into the mating position by laying with her belly close to the ground and lifting her backside while holding her tail in the air. Number 1. Additional things to know before starting the breeding of Maine Coons If you are still interested in breeding Maine Coons, then discover the steps you will need to complete. Health Checkups Both parents will need a thorough checkup from a vet before you begin to breed them. Your vet will determine if your queen is in a fit state to care for her kittens and can provide lots of helpful advice. Genetic Testing while Maine Coons are typically considered a healthy, sturdy breed, they are prone to a few different health problems. It's important to get both parents tested for genetic conditions so they don't pass them down to their kittens. Proper Supplies You'll need high-quality food for your pregnant queen as well as a safe space for her and her kittens. Furthermore, you'll need kitten food to wean the babies as well as lots of toys for them when they're ready to start playing. Do Your Research there's no such thing as too much research when it comes to breeding cats. All sorts of things can go wrong during a pregnancy, and you'll want to be there for your queen every step of the way to ensure that she is healthy and happy. Simple mistakes like not providing food with enough protein can end up killing the queen's litter or even the queen herself. Do share with us in the comments if you know more about the Maine Coon mating process. Please subscribe to all the other cats. Thanks for watching.